on, you guys. Let's feed our faces. Wait, it's better. Three passion action figures with every Big Dot Burger purchase, my friends. Please. Cool. My mama loves Jesus. Thanks, Jambi. Bite your tongue, Kuba. I love Jesus, too. But he ain't worth all those extra carbs. Please. We'll stick with the other fried meat. Thank you very much. No offense, Jesus. You know you're still my god. It's all good, my son. Unbelievable! All these people eat this chicken and tacos. I am losing money hand over fist. This boy, your pantry's got to go. If it's the last thing I do! Hey guys, what's poppin'? Welcome to Poyo Pantry. How may I serve you? Hey! what I tell you about flirting with the customers? Question. What's a fine mommy like you doing in a grease pit like this? Last time I checked, we don't serve no grease a keep up. Just pollo. Entiendes? Chill, abuelo. Hugo's just tripping. What the? I'm not sure what she said, but I think she just saved your life, Papa. Hey, dogs, what's up? Me, Pecker. He's my new pet chicken, fresh off the boat from Haiti. <coughs> hey, look, you guys. Manos' Haitian chicken got SARS. Get your radiation suits. We got an outbreak, son. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Y'all wish my Pecker was yours. <gasps> Te dijo, what do you say? What do you say? I mean, um, I'd like a 12 piece bucket and a malta with no ice, please. Back, 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 back. Oh, and a side of yuca fries, extra crispy. I don't get it. It's like a cow ordering a salad at Burger Queen. What up with that? Damn. And now for a Lugar Heights news exclusive. Thanks, Hothead. This is China Lopez, reporting live from Haiti, where reports of mad chicken disease are rampant, with claims of infected chickens spreading a zombie-inducing virus to the Haitian locals. That's right, zombies, y'all! Hey, what the hell is China doing in Haiti, yo? Hello, summer internship? What? As you can see, Hothead, the zombie situation is out of control. <gasps> Wait a minute! We go now live to Washington where President Bush is about to address the nation concerning this crisis. Hey, Take that, you freak! Today, Haitian zombies, or as I like to call them, zombies, took over the capital in Haiti. The cause, an outbreak of mad chicken disease. After repeatedly failing to cooperate with U.S. chicken inspectors, the time is now for Haiti to come clean about its chickens of mass destruction. This deceptive act of paltritude has left us with no choice. By 0800 tomorrow, 5 billion troops will be deployed if these so-called hombies can't be contained. Any questions? Preguntas? You heard it here first. A deceptive act of paltritude. Whatever the hell that means. But we've got a mass chicken exodus here in Haiti, Hornhead. They're jumping on anything that floats and getting the hell out of Dodge! Fascinating stuff, China. Any advice for the people of Lugar Heights should these so-called chickens of mass destruction land on our peaceful shores? Yeah! For once in your Latin lives, don't eat chicken! For that matter, if you even see a chicken, kick it and run like hell! What about this zombie virus? What are the symptoms? It starts with a light cough. <laughs> and then... Uncontrollable hunger and uncontrollable thirst. I gotta go, Jorge. These zombies, hombies, or whatever the hell you call them, están friqueando. You want some of this? Huh? Come on, you, you, you. Happy? So much for my summer job. So much for my freaking life. I'm gonna lose everything. How fat with those zombies, yo? That was crazy. Ah, Ah, that was hot, son. Stop! Like I'm feeling hungry and parched. Do you guys think I'm infected? Don't sweat it, Umo. They said uncontrollable hunger and thirst. You're cool, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, at least they ain't coughing. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 
we got a problem we can take. Oh, indeed we do. Any minute, thousands of infected Haitian chickens will be floating into Lugar Heights Harbor. And unless you want to end up like this, my friends, Jambi suggests we put on our thinking caps. Comprend it? Oh, snap. That's what that hat is for? I thought it was like a towel when you go to a pool or something. What do you care, Jambi? Boy, your pantry is screwed. Those mad chickens are gonna ruin my abuelo's business. Very true, my friend. In under 24 hours, eating chicken will be outlawed in Lugar Heights. And that is why I'm giving for you all two for one Big Dot Burger coupons, my friend. Sweet. Son of a... I'm gonna kill this gringo. <laughs> Screw that. I want my coupon. Tranquilo. There are plenty of coupons for everybody. My <laughs> friend. <laughs> you people don't get it. This has nothing to do with mad chickens or Haitian zombies at all. A bold statement coming from someone who's been harboring a chicken of mass destruction himself. Screw you, zombie. I ain't no chicken lover. Black, black, black. My point is, we can't let President Mush get away with this. He's blaming people. <laughs> uh, I mean, chickens. Before he even knows the facts. I say we let the U.S. chicken inspectors handle this. And meantime, we'll throw a welcome party for the thousands of mad chickens coming here to hack all over us. Jambi say no way, Jose. I'm with Manos. Let's leave it to the U.S. chicken inspectors. Yeah, save the whales, too. Anyway, there's no proof of any zombie symptoms. It's all a load of crap. <coughs> run! Run for your life! The plague is back with a vengeance! Get a grip, mi gente. We've got much bigger problems unfolding down at the docks. Spit it out, Umo. Just tell him. Well, not to panic anyone, but... Thousands of chickens of mass destruction are floating into Lugar Heights Harbor as we speak! Yeah! This is Jorge Jambalaya reporting live from the Lugar Heights docks where Haitian chickens of mass destruction, a.k.a. CMDs, are arriving by the thousands. Our fearless Chief McGrady is swiftly arresting the chickens and taking no chances. Irish immigrants, okay. Cuban refugees, why not? But this Haitian poultry crap is more than this town can take. It's all a lie. There's nothing wrong with me or my pecker. Look. Uh, I mean, um, this is bullshit. Okay, Jose. That's enough blast for me for today. Into the paddy wagon. You and your little pecker. Just when I thought I'd seen everything. Wait a minute. We go now live to Washington where President Bush is about to address the nation again on this crisis. My fellow Americanos, today, Haitian chickens of mass destruction landed on U.S. shores in Lugar Heights. Now, if the chickens breed anything like the Latinos in that town, <laughs> I'd say we got a severe mass cultrification issue on our hands, folks. <laughs> Furthermore, inter-chicken marriages must not be tolerated if we're going to contain this Hombi virus. My advice, duct tape the crap out of your casas and sit tight. Operation Chicky Freedom is underway. Troops have already been sent to quarantine the town of Lugar Heights, and another five billion troops are en route to Haiti as we speak. Hombies, look out. We're coming for you. We're going to smoke you out of your holes. Any questions? Pregnantes? Unbelievable, folks. Down here at the docks, the mass putrefaction has already begun. 
God help us all! This is Jorge Jambalaya, live from the docks at Lunar Heights. <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> this sucks. It's like a chicken holocaust. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> you yanking my chain. <laughs> Let me get this straight. The president said slaughter the chickens, dispose of their corpses, blow up Lugar Heights, and cover it up? <laughs> well, all right then. Ten for it, good buddy. See you at dinner. You see? Gas chamber, here we come. We gotta get out of here to stop this lunatic. But how? <laughs> That's it! <laughs> this is China Lopez reporting live from the war-torn streets of what used to be the peace-loving country of Haiti. Operation Chicky Freedom, my ass. It has just come to this reporter's attention that these zombies were not infected by chickens of mass destruction at all. Oh no! In fact, our beloved President Mush has been testing a deadly chicken bomb here for months to wipe out all the chickens. Instead, it turned the locals into zombies. Oh, the horror! The horror! Excuse me, China, but what crack pipe you been smoking? Why would the president want to destroy Haiti's chicken population? Elementary, my dear hothead. One, Haiti produces the most grade A chickens in the world. Two, Latinos eat more chicken than any other race, and you know that. Three, as a result, the beef industry in the president's home state of Texas is losing millions. And let's not forget, four, President Mush himself will lose millions if his big dot beef burger stock options ain't worth a crap. Oh, yeah. And to my Latino peeps, hi, back home. Get the hell out of there! He's going to blow up Blue God Heights as a cover-up! I don't know what the hell a stock option is, but when I find out, I'm gonna kill you, gringo! Not very sweet. Mayday! Mayday! To the bombers who are gonna blow up Lugar Heights! Don't do it, pendejos! Come in, over. Come on, carnales! Chickens are people too! Go! I'm not playing, dogs. This copter ain't moving. Abort. I repeat, abort. You dumb ass carnales. Okay, homies. So it's like that, huh? Pecker, unleash hell. Buenos retardus, American people. To the poultry partisans who think I'm guilty, read my lips. Pollo, good. Beef, bad. Haiti, we got Operation Chicky Freedom underway. And you are saved. Hallelujah. To the vigilant villagers of Luger Heights. If Latinos really are like cockroaches, <laughs> you'll survive this nuclear holocaust. Hey, look on the bright side. We got, we got that rascal Osama hiding out next door in Al-Qaeda Heights. I told you we'd find him. Excuse me, Mr. President. But what about the lies? The murder? The cover-up? The chickens! What about the chickens? How should I know? I don't ride this crap. Now, watch this drive. God, I'm proud to be an American right now. Not! I told you to vote for Sharpton! But no! No politics inside for your pantry. You know the rules. Besides, 
We gotta celebrate the heroes. Two manos and pecker. <laughs> Run! Run for your life! The plague is back! Ah! Why you cause a panic, Papa? I pay you minimum wage for this? Not very sweet. Relax, dogs. It's just allergies. What? <laughs> a freaking chicken with asthma? What's next? <laughs> Bye -bye. Vegetarian. Me too, Papa. A spin chrome 27. Y'all, move real slow, partner. I got a PhD in sociology. Tranquilo, mano. Llegamos en paz. Yeah, well, leave it in pieces if you don't... Hold up. You speak Spanish? Tenemos que hablar de muchas cosas. Oh, snap. Come in. I got questions. Watch your head, son. <laughs> Yo, this is nuts. Who are you? I mean, what do you want? Where do you come from? Does, does your ship taste super unleaded? Why do the meds suck? I got questions, son. Questions. <laughs> That's just cold. Chacho, déjame hablar. Hi, yo. Float me. We are a race of advanced intelligence. Me too, son. Where you from? You look a little Guatemala. We are from a dimension known as La Fortaleza, a realm that deals with the empowerment of the Latino people. And all of you speak Spanish? It is the dominant language of the galaxy. This is bananas. La Fortaleza has been observing Latinos on Earth for quite some time. And we have determined it is time to convey that with so many, you should not have so little. <laughs> Why me? Because the kids of Lugar Heights seem to have the most potential to achieve empowerment. As diverse as you all are, you respect and embrace your common denominator. Math? Damn. You are all Latino. Word? And we popped a fan belt, so we had to pull over. Yo, you think I could get a tour of your ride? I mean, just to make sure that you're on the real, you know? Claro que sí. Yo, can I bring a friend? Of course. <laughs> they said size places, we. My titty, yo! You all across my titty! Can you do something about this? Ooh, I just peed! <laughs> this is too much to take. I gotta sit down. What? What the hell? Only when company comes over. <laughs> Ooh, that alien's kind of cute. You think he's Guatemalan? Shut up, Roxy. This is serious. Hugo, what you got us into? Silence. We are here for a more noble purpose. We call it mission empowerment. What? What the hell are you talking about, alien? Is he? Your species are the Kong Kong of the melting pot, the Pigao, if you will. You always stick together. You have all the flavor, and yet you are never on top of things. Why? Cause you turn up the flame too high. You gotta let it simmer. <laughs> this combo is making me hungry. Silence! You are not aware of the predicament that belies your people. You have been your world's whipping boys throughout history. The contributions of Latinos through the ages have been enormous, yet uncredited. Watch. Lights! Lights! Sorry, Chief. Lights! 
Uh, sorry, Chief. It's because he's Latino, isn't it? <laughs> Who the hell is the booboo glabber? It's Felipe, and I love him. <laughs> In an effort to preserve the greatness of your species, we have cryogenically stored some of your great heroes. I'm not dead! Call the police, I'm not dead! Put a cork in it, Sammy! Now we will show the main reason Latinos do not evolve. Mwah! Mwah! Bienvenidos al show de la noche! Lights! Yo, that was our parents in the audience. My friends, Don Nabisco is the reason why your species has not excelled. What do you mean? Why is Don Nabisco responsible? Silence! No, wait, that was a good question. We have uncovered Nabisco's nefarious plan of stripping Latinos of their culture. How? He has devised a mechanism that will suck the ability to speak Spanish from those who use the SAP button on their TV sets, thus making the culture obsolete. Lights! Oye, negra! Tráeme café! And don't forget, SAP para Español! <laughs> I say, lovey, be a dare and pour us a spot of tea, yes? So, what you gonna do about this? Our job is done. It is now up to you. What are we supposed to do? We are brought you here because there is one amongst you that will lead the charge. One of you is the chosen one. I knew it, yo! I always felt special! It is... Humo. Humo has been chosen to lead you all to empowerment. Oh, hell no! If he's the chosen one, then why did you land on my fire escape with this lata? They popped a fan belt, remember? Hey, yo, I feel used, abused, and I'm not amused. How is Umo supposed to save us from Don Nabisco? That is within him. <laughs> so what are we supposed to do to stop Nabisco? You will infiltrate his lair. Lights! It smells like piss. This time it wasn't me. What's the matter, homeboy? Um, let's see. Aliens land on your fire escape. They send us to save our culture by stopping the host of a whack Spanish TV show who's an absolute lunatic. Oh, and almost the one. Other than that, I'm chilling. We remember the plan, right? What plan? The plan! Which you would know if you weren't busy making out with Oop Uba Glabber. It's Felipe. And I love him. Umo said to wait for the signal. Okay. What's the signal? Damn. I knew I was supposed to ask him something. Esto es un arroz con culo. Shh. Chill, ya. I'm on the phone with Felipe. I know, papi. I miss you, too. Oh, ask him if he knows the signal. Dick signal, nigga signal. What signal? We're doomed. The signal. <clears throat> the signal is dead. <laughs> Why, Nabisco? Why the evil plan? Why our people? Our language? Why the accent? Damn, that shit is whack. Why? Because your culture has deprived me of the career that I so deserved. I was a Latino thespian from England whose talent was unparalleled. But because I was a Latino, I was hindered. What shall I do? You're a dead body on a pile of dead bodies. Fantastic! I'm on my way! Action. Oh my god. 
They're all dead. Cut. What the hell was that? That was a death spasm. You're dead, not epileptic. Superb. Action. They're all dead. <laughs> Cut. Now what? There was an air bubble trapped in my lung as I grappled with my enemy. Somebody get this idiot off the set. It's because I am a Latino, isn't it? No, schmuck, it's your acting. You lie. And now, revenge is mine. And I will exact said revenge with my deviously devilish invention, the Eradicator. This will be my greatest victory! Without the Spanish language, I, Don Nabisco, will wipe out the culture! I, Don Nabisco, tan sexy! Totally in the mood for a latte, for sure. Not so fast, Cracker. Your evil days are over. Uh, who's the fag? Uma! I shall return, fag. A job well done, Umo. I feel like I let everyone down. He got away. Whatever, son. He comes back, he's gonna feel the wrath. What? Oh, I'm gonna miss you guys. <gasps> Maybe we can visit during Easter break. I hope not. Ta-ta. <laughs> Yo, dad. Bye, baby. I'm gonna call you. I may need another card, though. Yo, I'm proud of you, kid. I was fierce, wasn't I? But don't get it twisted. I still bust your ass. <laughs> You? No tango. You wouldn't happen to carry chocolate eclair, would you? Oh, do you want a cream puff? You go to the bakery, okay, snowflake? I'm not sure he understands me. Maybe you two can translate. China? China! Snap out of it! Allow me to introduce myself. Me llamo Chad. Chad Worthington, varsity wrestling team captain, or should I say... 
El Capitan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hi. Sure, I know who you are. Yeah, thank you. <gasps> Make your move, girl. Um, cool. Has anyone ever told you you look like um Ben Affleck? China. Actually. <laughs> yes, twice a day. Has anyone ever told your ass it looks like Jenny's from the block? At least three times a day. In that case, <laughs> let the bootylicious block party begin. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Mija, please. Ese blanquito es un zángano. Did she just go there? Sí, mija. Mamá goes where mamá wants. Oh. Explícame esto. What? I hate that final. My summer is ruined. Sí, mija. Oh. Ruinada. Ma, you gotta believe me. Somebody setting me up big time. Who the hell would do this to me? <laughs> No, Mama's way! Easy with that thing! That ink is permanent! You know what I'm saying? For life, canal! Hey, chill, Holmes! You're making me mess up the snake part! <laughs> what the? Ay, mijo! How could you do this to me? You've forgotten the language of your people! You mean Aztec? What the hell is this? Some kind of joke? <laughs> hey, I don't got the faintest dog. But I tell you one thing. What? Maybe it'll help if I fill in the bottom part with like a chiva or something. <laughs> Come to Puerto Rico. Come to Puerto Damn, son. If my Spanish didn't suck so bad, I'd be kicking it to all the mommies in Puerto Rico this summer. Word? Why don't you practice with me, bro? But well, why don't you practice on the village people, son? Come on, papi. Say something romantico. Son, I will slap your mother ass like a fat ass bitch ass dog, mother Word. <laughs> Desgraciado. Last week, I catch you doing shots of Robert Dawson and Malta, and now this. ¿Qué está pasando contigo, hijo? I know my Spanish shucks, but I conjugated mad verbs on that final. No way I failed. And you were making such good progress, too. Hm. Y tú? I thought I had at least one hijo who was going to make his familia proud. Pero, I guess not. <laughs> I Holy conspiracy, I took a D for that A. Uh, ah, sí, mijo. A conspiracy to make your poor mama cry. <laughs> you leave me no choice. Nah, I think I prefer summer school. I'm out, shut up, shut up. Um, me too, later, Gator. Hey, mira, get back here. Get back here. Capico. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Surely your pathetic sorry lives are worth more than a stupid little game of dominoes. Let's kick his culo. Ah! What seems to be the problem here, lads? Officer McGrady. Be glad I don't take all your vagrants downtown for a card shark and, and a smoking illegal contrabands in public. Oops, oh, uh, I almost forgot, lad. Principal Cabron instructed me to give this to you. Special delivery. Dear Officer McGrady, when I think of the steamy night you threw me on that cold, hard cell block floor... Oh, no, that's not it. That's a book of fiction uh, that I've been working on, actually. Where is that envelope? Oh, that, all right. Here it is, lad. Blah, blah, blah. And F in Spanish 101? Holy Cristo, Mama's gonna kill me. <laughs> Fine. Be that way. All of you. You'll be sorry when I find out who's behind this fiasco. What the hell was he doing on the sandblast floor? <laughs> oh my god. If anyone sees us with this pack of rejects, we have like zero chance for a social life this summer. Speaking of which... Hey, look, fellas, it's J-Lo and Ja Rule. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about school. Oh, my God. Hide me quick. Hey, ladies. What's up with the Unabomber get-ups? 
Shut up, Uba. What the hell are you guys doing here anyway? You mean this isn't where we check in for the lowrider convention? That's not what it says here. Latino summer bummer. Not since the unsolved incidente of 56 have so many Lugar Heights Latinos had to attend summer school for failing Spanish 101. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then it goes on to list all of your names. Go figure. Shun! I'ma whoop that ass! Come on, you guys. Kick the cojones out of each other later. Vamonos! Bye bye Hey, be sure to check out the Chad Meister at Varsity Wrestling Practice. I'm going to be demonstrating my new signature move. I call it the backstabber. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fierce moves, Chad Meister. <laughs> Varsity Wrestling Captain, Makulo. He only thinks he knows what real wrestling's all about. <laughs> Shut up, you guys. You're just jealous. Jealous? Of what? That player's faking in Roxy's nails, for real. <gasps> yeah, and what was all that crap about some unsolved incidente of 56? Oh, no, Manos. I'm afraid that part was true. Yo, his crystal balls are never wrong. <laughs> He's right, Hugo. My Tio Pepe graduated in 56, and he told me all about it. Your Tio Pepe never graduated? What? what? Whatever. But from what he says, several students almost died that summer. And one kid named Sparky Chinchilla is still missing. <gasps> Sparky Chinchilla? Sparky Chinchilla? Ay, Dios mío, Sparky Chinchilla! Damn, that name is whack. Hush, my child. Anyways... What's freaky about the Incidente of 56 is that it happened to a bunch of Latinos like us who mysteriously flunked Spanish 101. Where's the mystery in that? We've been shut up, Shun! I ain't going out like that, Holmes! See, si. but there's more. <gasps> oh God, I knew it! You know that janitor with one eye who hasn't spoken a word in like 20 years? Oh, which one? The freaky one. Oh, yeah. Now let me guess what happens next. So now the freaky one-eyed janitor is roaming free around the hallways of Lugal Heights High, ready to check out anyone who tries to solve the so-called incident of 56, right? Wow, well, ready? Where's Raggy? <laughs> About to put his foot in your intestines, clown. Chill, you guys. Like, I'm seriously tripping. Oops. I just peed. Come on, ladies. Leave it to the manipulator to figure this out. Besides, who would set us up to be killed anyway? I'm not sure, Manos, but we could ask the freaky one-night murderous janitor standing right behind you! Ah! Look, another dyslexic. Come in, come in, Vengan. Estan muy tarde. Class A. Allow me to introduce myself. Me llamo Professor Kulowitz. I didn't know I needed a shower cap for Spanish class. <laughs> Simmer down, Tex Mex. Your back was wet before you got here. So it's like that, Kulo. Moving on, I thought it would be interessante if we got into little groups to practice our Espanol. All right, everyone turn to your neighbors and say hola. Watch and learn, players. Yo, can I head wrap to you for a minute? So what do you got under that blanket anyway, mommy? <laughs> hey, simmer down. What is that, some kind of jihad going on back there? Nah, yo, just sharing some cultural folklore, Mr. Coolowitch. Oh, okay, fine. But one more outburst like that and I'll be forced to call Principal Cabron and send you all down to detention. Now back to work, on delay. Oh my god, you guys, it's the one-eyed janitor! Which one? The freaky one, stupid! Oh my god. Boy, hey, what is going on here, young lady? You got the whole class schwitzing. But, but, he was right there, I swear! Please don't, Miss Lopez. You're killing me with your cock duty talk. I'm calling the cabron right now. Nah, nah, nah. We're a team. If she goes, we all go.
Okay. Yeah, who is it? It's me, Principal Cabron, Senor Kulowitz from Spanish 101 class. Como estas? Senor Kulo what? Speak up, son! Oy vey, listen, I'm sending some of my pupils down to detention, okay? Well, send them to hell down then! Let me deal with their sorry asses! Okay, you little dirty birdies, you heard the cabron. Detention time! Run along now! Hasta la vista! I hope you know, this means war! Talk to the hand, missy! Oh, better yet, talk to the cabron. Now, now, now! Go, go, go! <laughs> Is it me, or does Dr. Kulo whatever have some serious issues he and Dr. Phil need to sort out? Oh, Dr. Phil, he can help Ugo with some of his issues. What you talking about, bitch? Now, what your brother's trying to say, okay, is that every time you express yourself, you begin to question your own sexual being and denying your desire of being with a large black man, okay? Jack! Enough shrink talk, you guys. We gotta pull together and find a way out of this mess. Word. Let's review the facts, shall we? One. We're all fluent in Spanish, but someone set us up to fail Spanish 101. Yeah, we be lingual, for real. Two. There's a whack-ass janitor with one eyeball who's somehow in on it. Which one? The, the freaky, freaky one. one! You forgot the part about him wanting to kill us, too. Cuba! Forgive me. Yes, he wants to kill us, too. <laughs> Three. I think I just peed. <laughs> oh, my God. I think I found a clue, you guys. Meet him. Diablo, you're right, China. But... Like, what up with my mom's chihuahua skirt? Is it me? Or is there anything else about the picture that's a bit, shall we say, raro? Yeah, that tall, dark, grim reaper bucko with the bow tie. He seems out of place. Uh, la, la, la. Ah! <laughs> what in the name of Jesus H. Christ are y'all looking at? Get your sorry asses in here double time! Now, now, now! Go, go, go! Felicidad is on reaching the very bottom of the Lugar Heights high barrel. Basement detention. Thanks, but I need to get my hair fluff because it's kind of... Zip it, zip it, zip it! Down here, we got two basic rules. One. Because Macy kind of, you know, that's for the blanquitos. You know what I mean? Shut your freaking holes! Two. Obey my every word or get 60 days in the hole with one of our resident retards! Welcome to my world. Hot damn, I love doing that. Now, any questions, Bragunas? What happens if we gotta take a leak? I'm glad you asked, son. I myself am going to take one right now. Well, as for you, rodents, well, <laughs> that's why God created these. <gasps> Zip it! I'll be back in Cinco. No funny stuff, or I'm cracking skulls! You bet your sweet ass. Hey, look, you guys. I think it's another clue. <gasps> It's Sparky Chinchilla, the missing boy from 56. Thanks for sharing, Cuba. But what does all this mean? Educated guess? We're gonna be electric car and kids too if we don't make a move before Sergeant Sadistic gets back. We gotta split up if we're gonna save ourselves. Roxy, me and you are gonna snoop around the basement to find some clues. Everyone else, meet back at Spanish class at 1500 hours. If we could find a way out of this dungeon. I got it. I saw it in an old movie once called Escape from Hispanitraz. All we have to do is... Okay, sinners, playtime's over. What's the matter, porcupine? Cat got your tongue? Son, if you don't wipe that stupid look off your face, I'm gonna have to do it for you. <laughs> what in the name of... You just open up yourselves a whole can of a rose cone whoopass! Great. He's freaky. And he's a slob. Quit bugging. I think I just found another clue. Look! Oh. My. Gah. The missing boy. Sparky Chinchilla. <laughs> Aren't those his broken little glasses? Ay, bendito. <gasps> Holy crap, you're right! Let's get out of here before that freak gets back. Oh, oh yeah. Did you just hear what I heard? <laughs> Sparky.
Jackie? Is that you? Oh, God. She's talking to me. Don't let me pee. God, please, don't let me pee. Don't pee. It's about time, Shorty. I thought I was going to suffocate. Chadmeister! <gasps> but why you? <laughs> ah! Oh, darn. He knows what I did last summer. <laughs> Look, Manos. I think we're onto something. Let's check the class of 56 yearbook for clues. Damn, dog. This yearbook is like Leave it to Beaver meets Telemundo. Is it me? Or is there anything else about the picture that's a bit... Shall we say, raro? Yeah, that vato next to our parents in the Grim Reaper outfit in the bow tie. He seems kind of familiar. Copy, go! And check yeah. this out. In loving memory of Sparky Chinchilla. Poor bastard. Hey, isn't that Principal Cabron in the next page? Class of 56, valedic, valedic, dick, dick. Bite your tongue, laddie. There'll be plenty of time for that in cell block A. Cell block my ass. You won't take us alive, McGrady. Vamonos, manos. Please try not to make a mess. We're in enough trouble already. Damn, son. I think I found something. Notice anything strange? Yeah. Those wrestling tights haven't changed much since 56. And they call me the retarded one. Keep digging, yo. Shazam! Yoink. What do we have here? Yoink. Ooh, who knew? Apparently even you passed Spanish 101 after all. If you lying, smack will be inflicted. And that's not the half of it. Get ready to meet your makers, vermin! Up, <laughs> shiny! Okay, Mihoko. Repeat it after me. Como te llamas? <laughs> Vermin wanna die first. Kill that freak okay. over there first. That rat bastard kidnapped me for Christ's sake. Is that so? Oh well, time to die. Freak! <laughs> that ain't right! I heard I taught a quiet to cabron for a wee bit. What is that, Adobo? Let's police work, McGrady. Next time, try taking out the one who looks like the Grim Reaper instead. <laughs> Funny, you should say so, Manos. Look at this absolutely fabulous Grim Reaper jumper I found in Cabron's office. That's a lie, butterfly. You got nothing on me. Nothing, you hear? Embute. If I'm lying, then why were all of our Spanish finals, which we all passed with flying colors, I might add, hit it in your office too? Hey, but what does any of this have to do with Freaky Kruger over there being a killer? Chad Monster's got a point. Freaky's been trying to kill us. Not to mention Sparky, too, poor bastard. Don't get it twisted, China. Freaky is Sparky Chinchilla. That's impossible. Last time I checked, Sparky Chinchilla was Spanish Club Presidente, not a retard custodian. How right you are. He was the best damn Spanish club president this school's ever seen. And just like our parents, he's a victim of the Incidente of 56. Uh, excuse me. If he's Sparky, then why he kidnapped Chadmaster and tried to kill us? Ask the poor bastard himself, Sparky. <clears throat> I've been trying to tell you guys, but you kept running. Oh, and I suppose you got that interesting little accent because all of your friends are retards, right? Yeah. Oh, and we're to believe that you've got one eye squinky from all those years without your glasses. Actually, yes. Here you go, Sparky. <sighs> Thanks, Cuba. That proves nothing. If you're the real Sparky Chinchilla, why the hell have you lived in Lugar High High School basement for the past 47 years? Apparently, white people don't know about chancletas. Cuba, take it. What he's trying to say is, rather than disgrace his family name and receive a chancleta beating, um, that's Spanish for a slipper beating, he lived in a high school basement for 47 years and pursued a career in the custodial arts. 
Well, looks like this caper's solved. Can we go home yet? What? I ought to kill you too, you ungrateful little son of a- Pookie, save me! Don't fall for it, sister. He's in on it too. Yoink. F in Spanish means no wrestling scholarship. Yoink. Apparently, we Latinos were messing up the curve. Isn't that right, Chad? Liar, liar, pants on fire. Like cabrón, like shun. Shun? And how about all the kidnapping? Don't forget that, huh? I was protecting them from you. Oh, it's too bad you only kidnapped him, Sparky, because that's nothing compared to what I'm going to do. Buttercup, please be reasonable. Hey, yes! <gasps> and that's for trying to kiss my daughter, Sangano. Ma! <gasps> I mean... <gasps> That's right, mija. 47 years ago, este cabrón did the same thing to me y todos tus padres. Finally, the incident of 56 se acabó. We would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling niños. You'll be sorry, vermin. You bet your sweet ass is! Where you're going, the only sweet ass you'll be bitten with is gonna be your own! Hey, wait, no fair. I had to cheat. You don't know what it's like growing up a minority in an all-Latino town. Comprende? Bye, Chad Meister. Don't forget to ride. Hey, Sparky, tienes hambre? How about joining us for some chow? Only if I can bring my homies. Yeah! Only if I get to ride with Jacobo here. You got a deal, mamita. Shake a shibi? I'm not into any of that music, bro. Easy, Fidel. Are you nuts? The album is hot! Not to mention the group. They're okay, but... Exactly! Look at their butts! That's sexist. Besides, this is all I listen to. All praise is due, B. But check the nalgas, shun! Them chicks are generic. Dime a dozen. So, uh, what's wrong with music for old people? <laughs> <laughs> what? Generic, not geriatric, you freak. It must be so hard to be that dumb. This just in. Lugar Heights has been hit again by the nighttime bandits. This time they robbed El Banco de Hayuya. That's the fifth time this week they have struck. In the humble opinion of this reporter, we need to run! Run like the wind! God help us all! Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Those bandits are stealing everything. I even put a club on my bike! You put a club on your tricycle? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, S.A. Y'all keep laughing if you want. But I'm out. I don't need this shit. We may have pushed it too far. He's being a baby, shun. He'll be all right. Booty shaker, shun. Ah. I swear to God, that pinche crew is always ranking on me, yo. I gotta expand my horizons. They're holding me back. <laughs> now that's what I need. An enterprising environment. Hey, vatos, what's up? I hear noise. Where that noise coming from? It's probably the same place that smell be coming from. Cause we the bling bleros. Yo, I've been checking y'all out for a while, I see. And your crew got it going on. Check it yeah. out, everybody. We now have Mexico's approval. You think your little Powerpuff crew would approve of you talking to us? Yo, I'm my old man, Colonel. I don't need nobody to prove nothing. State your case, little man. I want to be done. <laughs> <laughs> this laughing shit is becoming a pattern. You hear that, everybody? Shorty Rock wants to be a made man. <laughs> you think you got what it takes to be a made man? Echo, we did echo. Yo, no doubt. Just tell me what I gotta do to be made. In order to be made, 
you gotta be a man. Cause we the bling bledos. Whoa. Yo, Fifi, we need our drinks freshened up. <laughs> <laughs> Chill, fam. They talking about us on the TV. <laughs> Police claim there are no clues nor leads. If anyone has any information that will lead to the arrest of these bandoleros, please dial 1-888. We have no friggin' idea. We ain't never getting caught. Let's celebrate. I got the munchies. <laughs> Yo, let's pick a bakery. Yo, Mala, get me the plan. We robbing Billy blind. <laughs> Anybody seen Manos? Not since he broke out earlier. You guys were too hard on him. We interrupt this video, which was seconds away from showing naked boobies for a special news bulletin. Now that's just fucked up. We have just learned that rapper, actor, and part-time tide inducer Big Toe has just been arrested for the recent wave of robberies in Lugar Heights. The latest being Blind Billy's Bakery just hours ago. <gasps> Big Toe arrested? That's right, arrested. The rapper was apprehended just moments ago. Was I chewing too loud? Again? LHPD spokesperson Officer McGrady is holding a press conference as we speak. Let's look in. Yes, I was in the swimming pool with those three men. And yes, I had no trunks on, but it was an honest mistake. Oh yes, all uh, right. We have arrested the perpetrator based on the evidence we have accumulated. The fat bastard was eating cake when apprehended. We also have video footage of the suspect entering and cleaning out the place. The large shadow cast by him is what led to his arrest. Excuse me, officer. I've seen the footage and all you see is a big shadow. Why can't Mr. Toe actually be seen on camera? Well, as you know, for reasons yet explained, Latinos are never seen on television. This can't be true. Oh, it's true. Esos raperos are all criminals. No, no, no. Toe didn't do this. It's not his thieves. Don't you remember his song? Toe be bacon? He said, and I quote, Never take cake. Why wake the Jakes? I bake at a temperature 428. Genius. We gotta do something about this. No doubt, Sean. We not gonna let Toe go out like that. I'm gonna organize a free Big Toe rally. Holla. Only if you find... Hey, Roxy. It's the Toe. Oh my God, everybody. It's Toe. I'm innocent, girl. He says he's innocent. Liar. We know you're innocent, bro. We are going to organize a rally, and we're going to get you out, Papa. And tell him, in order to strengthen our efforts, he should go on a hunger strike. That bitch is crazy. He said thank you, y'all. Manos! Yo, Shun! Why are you ignoring us? Come here! I know you hear us. Nice stockings. What's up with that? Why he's wearing that outfit and ignoring us? <laughs> Y'all are talking about Manos. What happened was that Los Blimbleros, they recruited it in Manos, but the catch was that he had to wear a maid outfit because it's like an initiation he got to go through to be done with them. Uh, P.S. Manos is your boy. Y'all need to treat him better. Gotta go. Ren is due. Bye. I can't believe that. I know. How does she do that under a car? Somebody got to talk to Manos. We will, but right now we don't have time. We have to start the rally. Who knows what Toe is dealing with? Excuse me, could you move a little, please? Trying to suck it in already. Radio. Hi, Mrs. Manosa. Is Manos home? Manos, el pato from down the street is here to see you. First in dress, now this. I leave amigos, marico. Hey. Hey. Trying a new look earlier? Whatever, I see. It's not like you care. Right. That's why I'm here, because I don't care. What's with you? Why are you bugging out? You wouldn't understand, Carnal. You don't know what it's like to be an outcast. Oh, you mean besides being gay and having a puff of smoke for hair. You're right. I don't know the struggle. Oh, yeah. That's right. But anyways, I'm just tired of getting dogged by you guys. It hurts, sissy. You can dish, but you can't take. This time it was different. Y'all made me feel so small. Smaller than you already are? 
You see? That's what I'm saying. I gotta find a whole new crew. I don't need this. Isis, why are you so sensitive? That is so gay. Don't you remember the Big Toe song, Twinkle Toe? He talked about not letting anybody take your shine. That's my favorite joint, I say. Let me find out. See? We kid because we love you. You're our boy. We go down for you. Chill, Holmes. I don't roll that way. For you, stupid. Not on you. We miss you. Come back. Y'all think about it. I gotta go. Big Toe's been arrested and we're having what? a rally. Arrested for what? All the robberies in town. <gasps> you wanna come? I can't. I got stuff. All right, then. Ciao, bacalao. Hey, Holmes. Thanks, bro. Love the heels. Why you ain't in your uniform, bitch? Yeah, we gotta talk, Essie. Unless it's about you putting on your uniform. <laughs> I'ma whoop your ass. Cause we the bling pleros. Whoa. Yo, you guys gotta confess. We can't let Toe go down like that. <laughs> confess? <laughs> Toe ain't putting none of his dough in my pockets. Why you so worried about him? He ain't thinking about you. You make me feel safe. Sing that song again for me, boo. The first time ever I saw your face. Shh. No more words. Yo, that ain't right, dogs. We gotta be honest. Honest? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you still in the main stage. <laughs> you don't dictate. As a matter of fact, <laughs> give me your hat. And we will not be satisfied until there is justice and freedom for Big Toe! Our first speaker for the cause is our friend and spiritual leader, Cuba! Ooh. We are all here for justice, justicia, but we are all here for something más importante, loyalty. That's what it's all about, doing right by your friends and familia, because in the end, all we really have is each other. That guy is always right. It's friggin' annoying. Can I do something for you, laddie? I need to report a robbery. And uh, what exactly was taken, son? My hat. Oh, and the bank, the bakery, and a lot of other stuff. But mostly my hat. Oh, we already got our perp, Hector. Now run along to the unemployment line with you. I'm telling you, McLady. Look, Jose. We got our conclusive evidence on this here video. Now that their shadow is either toe or a sperm whale. Well, check this out, McGravy. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. The little immigrants onto something here. Yo, Manos, shall we keep meshing with you, man? You know you're my partner. Yo, it's good to be back with my dogs. Forget all that. Did you save the stockings? Look, here comes Big Toe. I'd like to thank everybody that knew I was innocent. Jay allowed me to shed some pounds, which is, which is good, I guess. What's the first thing you'll do as a free man? Straight up, right now, I'm gonna eat a burger. <laughs> Damn. Yo, Shan, how you think the Blingbledo she's gonna handle lockdown? I, I have an idea, see? Cause we the Blingbledos! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> This new reality dating show called Adios Papi. It's off the hook, girl. Girl, you know I swore off all those shows after Temptation Barrio got canceled. 
Yeah, but these two poppies they got on, one of them's fine. Let me guess. They go out on a date with some poor defenseless cualquiera who gets totally played, right? These shows are so whack. Hola, amigos. Today on Adios Papi, two fine papi chulos and one lucky mystery mommy go on a romantical date to Paco's Tacos and Club Copa Loca in the heart of downtown Lugar Heights. The winner gets the mommy, and for the loser, it's Adios Papi! Our first papi says he's looking for a muchacha who can cook, clean, yeah. make lots of babies, and never suffer from cellulite. Un aplauso for Paco Papi! Yo, what's up, dogs? Ew! Ay, que asco! Our second papi says he's never met a chica who wouldn't sleep with him on the first date. Welcome, Maximiliano Papi! Excelente! It's time to reveal our mystery mommy date for these two fine Papi Chulos! This should be good. Whatever! Lopez, you're our lucky mystery mommy! But, 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 but... Yo, who's that nasty bitch? Hey, what's up, Chaparita? Well, let me get some of that. In your dreams, Bobby. No, I meant the chips. <sighs> oh. kind of way. <gasps> oh my god! I gotta change! Excelente! Oh, chips! Oh, don't be holding my chips. <laughs> okay, my puppy. Oh! Your Columbariki mommy princess is ready to go now. Oh, time to film. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Damn, that face cream is fierce. Excellent. What's up, Papi? <gasps> this is a joke, right? What's up, Chavita? Do you prefer Taco Bell or something? Paco's Tacos is the real enchilada. I mean, taco. It's a taco. <gasps> hey, don't the pink channel, carnal. This show is puro pochismo. Orale. Hey. Hey, wait a minute. That's that little sissy from the show. Is he Holmes? You might make my competition wear his diapers and disqualify me. Hey, on second thought, I'm starting to like this show. Did you see that? Oh.
Idiotas! Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Yeah, <laughs> like not peeing in public. What did you say? I said, peace to the republic. Hmm? I don't know. You, you guys looking for some meat? We got tacos and stuff. Uh. We'll be sharing the tantric taco numero cinco this evening. And hold the Diablo sauce, primo. It makes me burp and fart like a motherfucker. Hmm, interesting vocabulary. Like, I'm so turned on right now. <sighs> That'll be $15, primo. Hey, that's no way to treat your cars, Holmes. Put on the sissies tab, you can't afford it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Inflation's a bitch, ain't it, Holmes? Ooh. Hey, Paco! K! Give me a numero cinco! Hold the Diablo! Ole! It makes me burp and fart. Hmm. Release your anger. Use the sauce. Kill him with the sauce. Do as I say. Hmm. Do it, do it. Need to What's the matter? Don't you like tacos, Chavita? You afraid of breath stank or something? Don't worry. I still kiss you. <laughs> 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 What the, what? I thought I said, no, Diablo! So, oh, 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 oh. oh! Um, I'd like to use my time out card, please. Oh man, that's the ugliest thing I ever seen. Ah, nasty. You got that. Ugh! Adios, papi! Excellent! Culo, papi chulo. Don't point that thing this way. Look at that culo on this. Oh no, here it comes, papi! <laughs> <laughs> Party is definitely over. Hey, what the? Hey, wait a minute. This puto broke the TV. Now I can't watch my Sabado Gigante. What is there to live for? Hey, what the hell happened to Diablo? What the? Hey. He's responsible. You smelt it. He dealt it. Kill him. We want him dead. Now he must die like a dog! Kill him, pull off his fingers and one by one, swing his ass up! Unexcellente. Get him! <laughs> Showtime! Wait up for me, puppy! Not without me, Chaparita! <laughs> nice spotting attack back there! Any other hidden talents we should know about? Oh, see! For my next act! 
I'm gonna beat the living crap out of this mama huevo! Ja, enough! If you two don't cut the crap, I might as well go home with the stupid cab driver. Hey, stop the contest. We found a winner. You better watch your mouth, Poppy. And quit looking at me like that! They're not both yours, are they? <laughs> yeah. Shut up and drive, carnal. And quit looking at the mommy. Oh, that dress would look great on my bedroom floor. <laughs> I'm not playing, Ese. Shut your freaking trap and drive the cab. I'm fit to be tied and caressed and kissed and hugged. <gasps> yeah. For the last time. Shut your pinche mouth or else, say. Hey, Bobby. Oh, baby, I'm fighting the urge to make you the happiest woman on earth tonight. Ooh, mama. Picture this. You, me, bubble baths, and hot fudge sundaes. That's it, I said. It's the part I'm gonna kick your ass at. Ooh. Where do you see what I'm gonna do to you, baby? Ooh, Ooh I'm gonna... That shit is over. I'm, I'm choking. I need mouth to mouth. <gasps> Unexcelente. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, God, China. Oh, my God. I'm coming. Don't worry. Roxy's coming. Que donde esta? Donde esta? It's okay, Bobby. Your Columbia Rican mommy's here to lick your wounds. Yo, baby, Bobby, right over here. Hello, yes, hi. Um, we're here with the Adios Papi Show. It should be under A for Adios. Like, what are you, what are you, what are you, like, 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 16 or something? Huh? You are not on the guest list. Guest list? We don't need no stinking guest list. <laughs> Move over. Next. Maybe you should check again under P for Papi. What are you, stupid or something? No means no! What are you, a retard? Get out of my face! Oh, for real? Maybe you should check on the M for my criada. Right next to your name, list bitch! Hey, what seems to be the problem here, ladies? No problem here, Pa! She's just a little far-sighted is all. Shut up, this bitch. Let me see your ID. I know it's in here somewhere. It, it's just been so long since I've been carding. Oh, here it is. Can, can I go in now? Mm -hmm, there you go. Mm -hmm. Hildegard. Yeah, the nice name. Hildegard. Uh, excuse me. Hildegard, is that it? What kind of name is that exactly? He's a Swedish, yeah. My ex-boyfriend, Sven, used to call me Hildi for short. Yeah, but he dumped me when I got a bad boob job. No more boobs, yeah? That was before or after you became a Latina. <laughs> Puerto Rico, ha! Puerto Rico, ha! Oh, I see. All right, then. I guess I see you inside, Hildi. I don't think so, Holmes. We don't got no stinking fifth wheel on this program, comprendes? <laughs> hey, China. What's with the stud muffins? Will you guys be checking your coats this evening? Do we look like we got freaking coats to check, Ese? <laughs> <laughs> K 
keep the change. Yo, you gotta chill, Bobby. What's up, Hugo? China in the house. Hey, what's with you and Grandmaster Flash? Yo, why don't you go make yourself useful and go get me a Shirley Temple on the box or something? I don't normally use bills of such a small denomination. But in this case, I make an exception. Holmes. Excelente, my ass! It's time to fight fire with fire! Fire? Pero all we got is guacamole, ese. Whatever. Fuerte, fuerte, muy fuerte. Excelente. Get ready to get your freak on, primos. My little chaparita in distress. Victory has never tasted so. Sarosa. I think the phrase you were looking for is to see ya. Use the sauce. Time to go downtown. And I don't mean a downtown going to which you're accustomed.
I have never seen anything like it. All these years, the cure for acne was in a dish next to my sauce and chips. Son, have you ever thought about marketing this stuff? Okay. So, what does our mommy have to say for herself? Did we make a connection, or was it adios puppies? Even though I'm young and boy crazy, doesn't mean I'm stupid. I know what's up. I still have my natural hair color and my virginity. I'm every woman. Final answer, adios, Poppy. You sure about that? Hello, Poppy. What about my ID? I don't need no ID. You little cradle robber, you. That's right, a all access triple platinum VIP pass to Club Copa Loca. But we just met! <laughs> you know, baby, of all my relationships, I like sexual the best. <laughs> <laughs> Sandwich for lunch. Apurate. <laughs> hey, what the? Hey, listen, what kind of game are you trying to play with me, Carnal? I said tuna sandwich. Tuna sandwich, Carnal. God damn it, tuna sandwich. Uh, uh. my children. Are you tired of that boring old remote? Well, look no further. Aquí tengo algo para ustedes. Part remote, part weapon of mass destruction. This sucker takes watching TV to a whole new dimension. And now for another episode of oh, La Descarada y un Bobo. Espérate, ¡Oh, mijo, this is mamá's favorite novela. En este capítulo, will Maria die of heart failure, or will the conniving yet suave Dr. Rogelio break her heart first? Oh. Maria, Maria, pobrecita, he broke your heart. Tú, tú, bruto, bruto, bruto. Perro, qué perro tú eres, doctor Rogelio. Ay. Pero mamá, you've seen this one. Everyone knows Maria's gonna die. ¡No! Cuba Manuel, no seas fresco. These are serious matters. Now come watch the novela with Mama on her day off. Come on, Ma. It's so cheesy. Besides, I'm ironing. 
¡Levántate! ¡Ahora! María, ¿cómo te sientes? How are you feeling today? I know you're upset, María. But when you fell into your coma, I got so lonely, María. And when you're younger, hotter, sexier sister came to visit me. Well, I just happened to be giving free pap smear exams. One thing led to another, and... Oh. Bastardo! Uh. Oh. Oh. Aga daga. Rogelio, my love, how can you do this to me? You've broken my heart over and over and over again. <laughs> Señora Cuba. Puerco. Ay, Dios mío. No, no. Chicken. Roast beef and cottage cheese. Yeah. Poor fuck a loud, please. Uh-huh. Sandwich, a chicken, the turkey Thanksgiving. My appetite is low, they're not as low as I'm living. I'm living, I'm living, I'm living. I'm living. <laughs> Buffalo wings flavored with atomic death. Can't rhyme my nan, I'm big asses out of breath. <laughs> Beef and cottage cheese. Yeah. More fuck a law, please. Uh huh. Damas y caballeros, Ark Mantoni. Roast beef and cottage cheese. Bacalao, please. Oh, I just love me some of that trim Puerto Rican booty. He ain't all that. I'll take Big Toe's butt over his skinny ass any day of the week. I'm still hungry, then I eat my little homies.
Hey! match just is this is a joke right here why well, is the block going up against one of them silly little mexican chupador luchador whatever the crap you call them things man this is no contest whatsoever <laughs> I don't know what the blocks got planned, JR, but back in Minnesota, you can't just run for governor and expect all the luchadors to bow down to your feet. Oh no, you gotta take them in the ring, you gotta fold them up into a little ball, you gotta put them in a little taco shell, and you gotta eat them for dinner. Yes, woo, woo. <laughs> No sé de qué hablan estos cabrones. That's right, I say, you tell them what's going on, I say, tell them, yeah. Shut up and keep knitting, fruitcake, before I turn you into a cheerleader. Seems like the men have just locked themselves into a hole right there. Dale, dale, pégale, pégale. Mijo, pégale, pégale, dale. Si, si, si. Take a look at that. That is most definitely a Mexican groin punch right there. Oh my god, the flying Mexican death pinch. Flying Mexican death pinch my ass. Use the clutch. Use the clutch! He's doing the talk to the hand move! That's the talk to the hand move! This is pandemonium. The block is just getting tossed right around like a like a little rag doll. Hey JR, did you lose half your brain in that stroke too? You sound like a damn fool when you talk. The luchador's going in for the kill. Oh! The block is in the air, and he's headed directly for the Spanish announcer's table! This is gonna be ugly! As in your mama ugly! Not this time, cabrones. Holy Lord! He was supposed to land on the Spanish announcer's table. This was not in the script. Wait a minute. What's going on here? He's looking at the referee. The luchador is on a rampage. The referee's looking around like a damn fool. No mercy! No mercy, kill the ref! Pégalo! Pégalo, 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 pégalo! He's charging the referee! Oh my god, JR, look at the luchador go! And the luchador goes flying! Look at that luchador fly! Here it comes! <laughs> this 
ref has got a serious set of cojones on him. Oh! He has a one-way ticket on Air Mexico. This is pandemonium. Hi, mijito. What is he gonna do to the luchador? He's gonna give him a good smashing, that's for sure. Oh my god, he's gonna... He's crying! <laughs> like a little bitch, he's crying! I'll save you! It's the luchador's mother! And she's going straight for the rack! Help! Help! Mama, if you're out there, help me! Anybody, help me! Kill this bitch! Help you? Help me! The hell? No mercy! <laughs> Lo siento, mijo. Survival of the fittest. Oh my god. Say uncle. Say uncle. I, I don't understand. She's reaching for something. Oh my god, it's a chair! It's a freaking steel chair! No! Oh! Someone got hit with the ugly stick! <laughs> Holy crap! The luchador is waking up! It looks like the ref is in for the luchador family double crunch! This ref is on Queer Street, JR! The luchador is climbing the top rope. Here it comes! Oh! I'm not sure what just happened, JR, but the ref disappeared faster than my acting career after I did the Predator. This is pandemonium. We're out of here, JR. See you all next week. Damas y caballeros, get ready for Shuta! 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 And now, for our featured act, all the way from Luga Rights, it's Kuba and his fruit holes! Yes! Shuta! 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 <laughs> yeah! Holy smoke! We better round up the gang and get Kuba out of there! Shelter! 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 Oh my god, they're gonna change the channel! Where the hell is the remote? <laughs> <laughs> If you're not careful, you're gonna file that finger to the bone. Yo, pass me the buffer, please. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to end this way. I love it when this happens. Johnny, you've only got a small window. 
tú estás loca. No way is my fabulous bootylicious butt gonna fit through that window. I don't think so. Uh-uh. Okay, Manos, you defuse the bomb. Bomb? What bomb? Who said anything about a pinche bomb? <laughs> ¿Qué pasa? Yeah, just do it, idiot. Orale, pues. Okay, you guys go in topside. Check. Checkity check, check. Some crazy dream. Oh no, Doctor Rogelio, Mama, it wasn't a dream after all. No. Now we can watch our novella in peace. Works every time. Oh! <laughs> 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 <laughs>